Welcome back. A stalled GOP agenda, White House leaks, and now word of a grand jury. And still, none of it stands in the way of another record day on Wall Street as the Dow cruised to its seventh straight record close in a row. Joining me now to discuss, Steve Dudash, the president of IHT Wealth Management. Steve, welcome. So, you know, I, I should say I pre I'm going to preface this with the president could walk out on this stage at any moment and we will go right there when it happens. But in the meantime, this has been great news in the markets. Why does the stock market continue to go up and is it sustainable? <laughs> Is it sustainable? That, that's the real question. <laughs> I mean, why is it going up right now? It's, we're at a perfect point in the business cycle. It's kind of the Goldilocks period right now. Unemployment is historically low. I mean, a decade ago was historically high. Uh, cash flows on these uh, the businesses right now are doing really well. Dollars strong overseas. Interest rates have been very, very low, which is accommodating. And the Fed has been doing a very good job of making it clear moving forward what the interest rate hikes are going to look like. I mean, businesses, we want clarity. We just want to know the rules of the game. As long as we know the rules of the game, I guess, besides the healthcare sector right now, so, but everywhere else, it, it just helps out businesses moving forward. So, Steve, you know, I'm going to mention a couple of uh, economic points, data points today. Factory yeah. orders up. We like that. Yeah. Jobless claims down. That's good. And the yeah. real story behind this market, I believe, everybody says it's the promises of lower taxes, et cetera, et cetera. There are earnings behind these stock prices <laughs> and big earnings. Yes. We actually have had yes. the second consecutive quarter of, of double digit earnings gains. This is very big news. And uh, it's the first time since 2011. Imagine that. So don't you think that at the end of the day, fundamentals are really driving this rally? Fundamentals are driving the rally, yes. But you have to believe that the belief of a Republican government right now with lower taxes hopefully coming down the pipeline, regulatory reform hopefully coming down the pipeline, that's factored in to some degree. Mm -hmm. Yes, earnings have been better. But right now, if you look at pure valuations, they're, they're on the high side. They're not just based on earnings. They're based on some hope that some other changes are coming down the road as well. So that's when well, we're talking about Steve, sustainability. But the reality is that whole agenda has been put on hold, right? I, know, I mean, I'd love to see the, the president part. talk to it about it right now and say, hey, we're on the road. It's going to happen. But especially the grand jury impaneled. We've had so, so much news that would seem to put the kibosh on some of those plans. And we know, for example, that Congress has 26 vacation days through the end of the year. They've got to get a budget. They've got to raise the debt ceiling. There's so much on their to-do list. And, you know, they're not very efficient, those folks in Congress. No, they are terribly inefficient. That's why I'm worried about the valuations, because people are putting you know, hope that government's going to do something good. And I don't always believe that they know what they're doing tomorrow, let alone, you know, big picture. And that's why, you know, we've been talking about valuations in the U.S. are probably a little high. Maybe it's time to look overseas. Europe, you can get into some cheaper valuations. Take advantage of that. Pocket some of the nice gains you've made in the last nine or ten months. Um, and not put so much hope on the government, because I completely agree with you. I don't have faith that they're going <laughs> to get done what we're hoping they're going to get done. Yeah, if you're banking on Congress, mm, I don't no, know about that. No, Listen, no I, I just want to remind our viewers, we're waiting for the president on the stage in Huntington, West Virginia, where he is uh, conducting a Make America Great rally. Uh, this is a campaign-style rally. He's been doing them all over the country, and this is an audience that loves him well. Uh, there's lots and lots of coal miners in this audience. We've been interviewing them all day uh, on the street, and we'll have Jeff Flock join us again in just a moment. But while we wait for that, Steve, you know yeah. what? I, I started by asking you, where's, it, where's the market going next? And I looked this up. Yeah. S&P 500, only 42% of the time does it go up in the month of September. Those aren't great odds. What do you see in your crystal right. ball? <laughs> My crystal ball? <laughs> um, I don't know about the month-to-month -month returns. Who knows right now? It, it's hard to believe that we'll see the same type of returns we've seen in the last 10 months. That's not realistic. It can't keep up that pace. Um, positive gains. I mean, we are really in the perfect side of the, the business cycle right now. So I'm not going to be one of those doomsayers saying you're going to see a huge pullback, but I don't believe big returns in the next few years are realistic anymore. If we can get low single digits for the next couple of years, that's probably more you, realistic in the long term. There's nothing wrong with low Sorry. single digits. I, I like anything no, I mean, in the green is, is what I like. And, and I completely agree with you. And don't get me wrong. I like when the markets go up 15%. That makes all right. us all feel warm and fuzzy. But long term, there's, that's not realistic moving forward. Steve, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate your time.